Hello, I thought I'd just quickly document this device I've been working on recently. Um, this is in collaboration with A4 Sound and Secret People uh, record labels based in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, they are ambient music record labels. So, <clears throat> they work with a lot of uh, ambient and dark, slow, droned, dreamscape kind of audio, okay? and. What they were looking for is a way to sort of algorithmically generate examples of their music based on uh, the releases on their record label. So, um, you know, everybody could submit some of their loops from, you know, the artists from the record label could submit some loops and they can be added to this algorithmic uh, looping device which will, yeah, create new ambient music um, based on the record label. Uh, my client wanted this to be released sort of for free um, along with every purchase of a record so if somebody buys a record they receive this device they can use it within Ableton Live like I am doing right now or you can also launch it as a standalone application without Macs or without any technical know-how just execute it and you can use the device um, so yeah it's an algorithmic device it has a whole bunch of parameters and stuff that I'll look at in a minute but for now let's just take a quick listen to it so I can press this button here um, to generate a sound. Got a volume knob here. Just gonna skip through a few. As you should have been able to have heard, some of the loops are short, some of them are long, some of them vary. This example right now is quite a long one. Yeah, it's giving you a bit of an idea of what that sounds like. We've also got this nice little pitch wheel here, which allows you to take things down a notch, or up, or up a notch. Let's keep it down. Now, um, the device isn't quite finished yet, we're working on it, collaborative project, I handle all the technical side, um, <clears throat> and the guys over at A4 Sound are handling um, sort of the musical sources, I help out there as well. Now this is made in Max MSP, this is my software of choice, um, might look a little bit spaghetti like right now. It's a big old patch, um, and all of this represents the guts of what's happening. Okay, um, for example, I've got my loops over here. Um, I've got the algorithm up here. I've got all of these things across here. There's various parameters that can be affected at any moment. Um, we've got things like um, pitch modulation, amplitude modulation, filtering, reverb, saturation, uh, delay, automatic panning. Um, playback speed, all of these different parameters um, are affected by probability. Oh, excuse me. Um, all these parameters are affected by probability, so uh, it goes into the algorithm and determines, um, yeah, whether there's reverb or not, whether um, this one particular sample should be played at full speed or half speed, or da 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 da. You know, there's little probability rules for all of this stuff that allows when I just click the button, so I can go ahead and click the button up, I think it's just there, yeah. 
and we can see that some stuff's changed. For example, these loop points here. So I can just press this and you can see what's going on in terms of the loops. Of course, not all of the loops are sounded every time. <coughs> That is my ambient looper device. Um, I really hope that I can in the future apply this to other record labels. I think it's a really nice digital token to have of a record label that you love. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can find uh, other people to utilize this new technology. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.